Hi, my name is Jerry Walsh from Ditch Project here in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm going to be comparing a original pan art hong drum, also known as a hand pan, to a Rav Vast, which is a steel tongue drum, but also kind of a hybrid with a hand pan. Just want to talk about two of the differences because they're both awesome instruments. I don't think that one necessarily is better than the other, but it's kind of cool just to look at like what distinguishes one from the other. So with the uh, pan art hong, what you have are two pieces of steel pans that are glued together and then covered by this brass ring. And uh, this one is a hijaz scale, so it sounds like this. In D minor. And what makes this particular instrument by pan art really special is that uh, it has an amazing resonance. and it really carries and there's a lot of really beautiful overtones um, so like if you get other hand pans made by other companies some of them have a really powerful rich sound like that's comparable to that but I find that with this particular instrument things like the subtleties and the overtones it's just really powerful and it sounds really beautiful and then there's some other things you can do like just has a lot of like um, I guess almost accessory sounds aside from the uh, primary tonal field here which is really nice and then if you flip it upside down it almost becomes like a an oud um, it's almost like two instruments in one so which is cool. So um, it's a great instrument and uh, these are pretty hard to find and um, there are a lot of makers out there but when I say a lot I think there's probably less than a hundred people that know how to make them in the world and I would say that not all those people make quality instruments which is unfortunate and so the price for these can be really high. I've seen them probably as low as a thousand dollars and as high as six thousand dollars on eBay sometimes even more than that depending who the maker is. So you just gotta kinda do your research and be careful where you buy it from, make sure you get something quality. Um, and then the Rav drum over here is invented in 2013, which I believe is actually the same year that Panart stopped making original hong drums and started making different instruments. Their intention was to keep it uh, a very mystical and kind of elusive instrument. So they only wanted to make several thousand of them to my knowledge. So they don't even make hong drums anymore. They make a different kind of instrument that's similar, but totally different. So the Rav Vast comes from Russia, and what's different is that the keys here are cut. It's unlike this, this is tuned totally with a hammer. They just bang this with a hammer till it sounds the way it should. But with this, the keys are cut. And so you get a really, like the reverb, the deep resonance, the sound, the last of the sound just goes on for a really long time. like. it's still going. But with the hand pan, this is even still going now and this is gone already. So now it's gone. <laughs> so this is like, it just lasts a really long time, which is really cool because uh, you can kind of get really experimental with the rhythms. You don't need to worry so much about being on top of everything. You can put a lot of space between your hits. You can be like, So I find that this is a, like almost more of a meditative instrument to play with because the fullness of the sound and the way it fills the space, but also the duration of how it plays. And you don't need to be very like quick with it. You can play it very slowly and it still sounds really cohesive because the sounds blend together really beautifully. Um, I just also love the scale here. It's G minor pentatonic. It has a very like dramatic sound to it, so this in particular is really beautiful. You are not able to play it really from behind. 
kind of like you could play anything, um, but it doesn't have the same uh, backside as a hand pan does, which is you know it's just perhaps one um, thing that doesn't compare equally to. But what's great about this instrument is that it's basically a third of the price, and the makers um, wanted specifically only to charge it the way they did to keep it from becoming uh, too hard for people to buy. So it's more accessible, uh, which is really nice because a lot of people always want these, but then they can't afford them. So um, it's nice to have something that everyone can enjoy. And it's actually even easier to play than this one. Even though this is a very easy instrument to play, I have no percussion background, but I picked this up and with a couple months, I can make it sound really beautiful. Um, with and I, I brought this to people and let them play it, and they can't seem to figure it out after a couple of strokes, maybe even an hour. But with this one, anyone, even little kids, just it's perhaps like the easiest percussive instrument to play ever, and it's arguably one of the most beautiful ones I've ever heard. And so, what's great about the Rav too is that it also has harmonics like the um, the handpan does. So you have the um, the fundamental sound here. But then you can, by putting your finger in a certain location, you can isolate the overtone. Yeah, so uh, it's it's a very similar instrument. Um, really, the the difference between the two is that the keys here are cut, like uh, probably with a laser. That's my guess, just looking at it. I haven't actually contacted and asked them specifically. While this is one solid piece of metal, so but both have the same ability to create these harmonic overtones, which are really beautiful. Yeah. So those are some of the differences, um, and uh, you can find both hand pans. Like the hong drum, not the hong drum in particular, but hand pans very similar qualities for sale at Ditch Project. And you can also find um, Rav Vast drums through us. We're working with the makers and uh, we are selling their instruments. So if you guys are interested, please let us know. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.